Hi guys, Matt from PrivatePracticeExams.com. Quick video to help people with their radio calls. Um, I know your instructors are going to teach you this, but a lot of people struggle with it. They just, you know, I, I go to our flying club and I talk to student pilots um, on a Friday afternoon when we have a beer, and I hear them on the radio when they're flying, and they constantly mess this up. Um, but it's something that can be practiced on the ground, and you can make it so easy for yourself if you just do a bit of practice on the ground. So here's what you do. You draw yourself up a map like this and you put your 10 mile and a 20 mile circle around it, just like this. Then what you do is you just get your mouse if it's on your computer. If it's not, then you just use a pencil on a map. You can just do this on a photocopy. It doesn't matter. And all you're going to do is use your mouse initially and you're just going to throw it at places around your airport and you're going to immediately try and give your distance and your location relative to the airport. So let's go. So there. I'm one one miles to the northwest. Okay, there. I'm one two miles to the northeast. Okay, there. I'm one seven miles to the north. Okay, um, there. I'm one four miles to the south southeast. Uh, there. I'm one five miles to the southwest. Okay, so I'm trying to look away now. There. Seven miles to the northeast. Uh, there. Five mile of oh, six miles to the southwest. Okay, there eight miles southeast. There twelve miles to the northwest, and practice that until it becomes automatic. Okay, it'll take you five or ten minutes. Now the next thing you've got to do is you've got to picture that in your head when you're up flying around your airport, and that's hard to do until you've actually had a few lessons. What you need to do is recognize your major airports. So around here you want Point Plumber, because what you want to do is you want to draw this square in your head. Okay, so north is always at the top. So I want a square going from um, sort of just there, Point Plumber, um, down to say off the coast of Bonnie Hills, and then I want it going out to the west here of the highway. I want it going up through Warhope to Telly Point. Okay, so that's my square. And that way if I know that square in my head and I know it relates to this map, I can straight away know that they're roughly my 10 mile points, okay? And I can quickly go, like if I'm here, I can quickly know that if I'm in line with Telly Point, I'm 10 miles. If I'm just inside it, I'm 7 or 8 miles. You don't have to be deadly accurate. So within one mile is fine, right? Um, if I'm over around Warhope, I'm, I know that I'm roughly about, you know, sort of 8 miles or so to the west, okay? If I'm at the coast... Okay, depending on where I am, I know that I'm roughly around about sort of two and a half, three miles to the east. Okay, sorry, three miles to the east. So get to know your local area. Picture that, squ that square that basically fits around India or just overlaps your 10 mile circle and know that in your heads when you go up there. Then get on here with your pencil or your or your mouse and practice those calls like I just showed you. Now the next step is to do this introduce them like once you're doing that autonomously and don't move to the next step until you've got this bit autonomously until it's coming like that every time okay once you get it happening like that every single time and even after a break then you can progress to the next step the next step is to relate that to how you have to make a call in the aircraft so someone is going to call you up and they're going to say um Pioneer 8313, what's your current position and locations? And they're going to give their details. So let's say it's um, Q-Link 172. I'll just write that down so I don't forget. And, and always write down your call signs as they come in. So it's QL172. Right. So they just called me up and said, what's your current position and intention? So I, now I'm going to move my mouse and boom, I'm there. Okay. Pop Macquarie Traffic and Q-Link 172, Pioneer 8313 is one two miles to the northwest inbound to fly overhead and join midfield crosswind for runway 21. ETA circuit 35, port traffic. See, it's automated, okay? And that's the point you need to get to. So what you've got to do is you've got to report back to your traffic area, to the person that asked, and you, you want to give you, them your current position, okay, and distance, and altitude. Then you want to um, say your intentions, whether you're inbound, outbound, conducting air work, um, or whatever you're doing. And then you're going to say, um, finish with, um, you know, Port Macquarie traffic.
okay the area so that lets everyone know you're finished it also lets anyone who only just heard the last part of the broadcast know that it's you so let me just do another one quickly okay because i think i figured out the uh the altitude then so boom there okay Port Macquarie traffic and Q Link 172, Pioneer 8313 is 13 miles to the north east, conducting air work at uh, 3500 for the next 10 minutes. Port Macquarie traffic. Okay, or conducting air work at, uh, between 3000 3, and 5500 for the next uh, 1 5 minutes or 0 5 minutes. Okay, whatever, but just practice doing this just getting your position so just going northeast uh sorry northwest see how easy it is to stuff up uh one three miles right um once you get that down pat then you can move it into full radio calls now practice 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 until it becomes autonomous guys um and then the next step is the final step is get someone else to position the mouse on the um, map and you have to do the the full radio call okay so they might give you um, they'll give you a different call sign each time which you have to remember and or write down and then you have to respond in a full radio call with your current position location and intentions hope that helps guys if it does please 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 give me a like give me a share give me a comment the only way that YouTube knows to serve up your content to other people as useful is by people pressing that thumbs up button and by dropping comments or sharing so please do that and if you have any other questions, any other videos you want me to make, please jump in our Facebook group and let me know or direct message me through Facebook Messenger. Thanks for watching. Matt from PilotPracticeExams.com. Oh, one other thing. Just set up a five-day challenge. So if you're interested in that, um, it's basically the videos that I put out the other day on how to study. I've shortened them down a bit to make them the same information but just more compressed in shorter videos. If you do like that, um, there's a pop-up that's going to come out on the website and you, all you've got to do is go um, click on that and that'll start you into the sequence. So hope that, hope you like that, guys, and see you later. Matt from PilotPracticeExams.com. Like, share, please.